All right, who doesn't love me some fractions? We're supposed to evaluate this expression, which basically means just to simplify it, right? Put the answer in simplest form. So you are staring at two fifths plus two and four fifths divided by two. Well, remember the order of operations says that you will always do division before addition. We have to simplify or evaluate two and four fifths divided by two. Remember, it's easier to turn our mixed numbers into improper fractions. We take whole number, multiply denominator, so 2 times 5 is 10, and then we add our numerator, which is 14. So now we have 14 over 5 divided by 2. This is the part of the expression that we have to simplify first. And remember, keep, change, flip. You keep the first fraction the same, so we'll leave that alone as 14 fifths. We have to change the division sign into its inverse, otherwise known as multiplication here. The opposite of division is multiplication. And then two, we're supposed to use the reciprocal of two or flip it. Remember, two is really two over one. So we need to flip the numerator with the denominator, and that becomes one half. So now we're actually doing 14 fifths times one half. But I see we can cross reduce. I see a common factor of two. So this is called cross reducing. Cross reducing is basically simplifying fractions before you mess with them, before you multiply them. So we have uh, 14 divided by two, that turns into a seven, and two divided by two turns into a one. So now we look at five and one, those cannot be cross reduced, so they stay the same. So we have seven over five, and then one over one. So we're supposed to multiply 7 over 5 times 1 over 1. Well, multiplying fractions, you just simply go straight across. Well, 7 times 1 is 7, and 5 times 1 is 5. So now we have 7 fifths. So basically, we replace everything inside this box here with 7 fifths. So you're now staring at what is 2 fifths plus 7 fifths. And hopefully you remember how to add fractions. You have to have common denominators. Well, we actually already have common denominators. The fives, those are in common. So in order to add fractions, you just add the numerators only. So we are going to add two plus seven. Well, that's nine. And the denominators are in fifths. So those are the size of the pieces. We keep those as fifths. Nine fifths, however, is going to be counted wrong because it is improper. Improper fractions need to be turned into mixed numbers. Nine fifth means nine divided by five. Keep in mind this line right here, that means to divide. So we're doing nine divided by five. Numerator goes in the box. Denominator goes outside the box. How many times is five going to nine? One time. One times five is five. And we have nine minus five, which is four. We write this whole thing as one and four fifths. So the Final answer to this expression involving fractions is one and four fifths.